Hey everyone, I'm here with your monthly market minute for all of the housing statistics for August. I'm Tristan Campanella, your local real estate expert. Let's get to our numbers. So our new listings are down in San Diego County by 17.9%. That just means that less people are selling their homes. It's continuing to drive low inventory, which is greatly affecting home buyers because it's increasing and pushing those prices up um, and it's not allowing as many home buyers to come into the market. We're seeing this on a national level as well. Um, in North County, San Diego, uh, we had a days on market just up a day from 36 days to 37 days. In San Diego County, we had the market go from 31 days to 34 days. So still very sl uh, slight difference and a really short time between we are listing homes and we're putting them into escrow. East County and metro areas are seeing an increase in median pricing, while North County and South County have seen a slight decrease. And by the, what I mean by slight is from 740,000 to 720,000 in North County, and from 660,000 to 659. Um, in San Diego County. So not a huge decrease in pricing. We're staying pretty steady. The Federal Reserve has lowered the interest rate as we all know, but because prices are still so high, the home buyers that might have been able to benefit from that have not been able to. Most people who've benefited from that are people who have refinanced their home. So if you are thinking about refinancing, it is still a great time. I'm happy to help in any way I can with that. Home buyers, if you can find a way to get into a home, we are at historically low interest rates, lower than even 2016. Um, the lack of affordability and the persistence of high prices are still driving um, the market up and not making it easy for people to find affordable housing. That's your wrap up market in a minute. The housing market is predicted to still increase 2.2% by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac for the rest of this year. So expect kind of the same in the market this year and we'll have to take a closer look at 2020. If you have any questions or would like to have a more detailed report, please click the link below and I'd be happy to send it over to you.